What are epithermal gold deposits? Epithermal gold deposits are a type of gold deposit that is formed at relatively shallow depths, usually less than 1 km, and are characterized by the deposition of gold-bearing minerals in association with hot, acidic hydrothermal fluids. These deposits typically occur in regions of active or recent volcanic activity, and are often found in association with other precious and base metal deposits. Epithermal deposits are formed by the circulation of hydrothermal fluids through fractures and faults in the surrounding rock. These fluids are typically very hot, often exceeding 200 degrees Celsius, and are rich in dissolved minerals, including gold, silver, copper, lead, and zinc. As the fluids move through the rock, they deposit their dissolved minerals in the fractures and faults, forming veins and other types of mineralized structures. The term epithermal refers to the fact that these deposits are formed at relatively low temperatures compared to other types of hydrothermal deposits, such as porphyry deposits or massive sulfide deposits. The term epithermal means near surface and refers to the fact that these deposits are typically found at depths of less than 1 km. Epithermal gold deposits are typically classified into two main types, low sulfidation and high sulfidation. Low sulfidation deposits are characterized by the deposition of gold-bearing minerals in association with low temperature, acidic hydrothermal fluids. These deposits are typically associated with volcanic rocks and are often found in association with hot springs and geysers. High sulfidation deposits, on the other hand, are characterized by the deposition of gold-bearing minerals in association with high-temperature, acidic hydrothermal fluids. These deposits are typically associated with porphyry copper deposits and are often found in association with advanced argillic alteration. Epithermal gold deposits are an important source of gold and other precious metals, and are often mined using underground methods such as adits, drifts, and shafts. Because these deposits are often found in remote and mountainous regions, mining can be challenging and expensive. However, many epithermal deposits are also relatively small and high-grade, making them attractive targets for exploration and development. In conclusion, epithermal gold deposits are a type of gold deposit that is formed at relatively shallow depths, usually less than 1 km, and are characterized by the deposition of gold-bearing minerals in association with hot, acidic hydrothermal fluids. These deposits are an important source of gold and other precious metals, and are often found in association with other types of mineral deposits. What is epithermal gold deposits formation? Epithermal gold deposits are formed by the circulation of hot, acidic hydrothermal fluids through fractures and faults in the surrounding rock. These fluids are typically derived from magmatic or volcanic sources, and are enriched with dissolved minerals, including gold, silver, copper, lead, and zinc. As the fluids move through the rock, they deposit their dissolved minerals in the fractures and faults, forming veins and other types of mineralized structures. The formation of epithermal gold deposits involves a complex interplay between a number of geological processes, including magmatism, hydrothermal alteration, and structural deformation. These deposits are typically associated with regions of active or recent volcanic activity, and are often found in association with other types of hydrothermal deposits, such as porphyry copper deposits or scarn deposits. The formation of epithermal deposits begins with the intrusion of a magma chamber into the Earth's crust. As the magma cools and solidifies, it releases fluids and gases that can migrate into the surrounding rocks. These fluids can alter the chemistry of the rocks, creating a zone of hydrothermal alteration that is characterized by the replacement of the original minerals with new minerals that are rich in metals. Over time, these fluids can migrate into fractures and faults in the surrounding rock, forming veins and other types of mineralized structures. The deposition of gold and other precious metals is often associated with the final stages of hydrothermal activity, when the fluids are enriched with these metals as they cool and precipitate their dissolved minerals. 
The nature of the hydrothermal fluids that are responsible for the formation of epithermal deposits can vary depending on a number of factors, including the depth of the deposit, the composition of the host rock, and the nature of the fluid source. Low sulfidation epithermal deposits, for example, are typically formed by the circulation of low temperature, acidic fluids that are derived from magmatic sources. High sulfidation epithermal deposits, on the other hand, are typically formed by the circulation of high temperature, acidic fluids that are derived from volcanic sources. In conclusion, the formation of epithermal gold deposits involves a complex interplay between magmatism, hydrothermal alteration, and structural deformation. These deposits are typically associated with regions of active or recent volcanic activity, and are often found in association with other types of hydrothermal deposits. The deposition of gold and other precious metals is often associated with the final stages of hydrothermal activity, when the fluids are enriched with these metals as they cool and precipitate their dissolved minerals. What are the characteristics of epithermal gold deposits? Epithermal gold deposits are characterized by a number of distinct features, including their association with volcanic activity, their shallow depth of occurrence, and their occurrence in association with other types of hydrothermal deposits. Association with volcanic activity Epithermal gold deposits are typically associated with regions of active or recent volcanic activity. This is because the hydrothermal fluids that form these deposits are derived from magmatic or volcanic sources, and are often associated with the same geologic processes that drive volcanic activity. Shallow depth of occurrence Epithermal gold deposits are typically found at relatively shallow depths, usually less than 1 km. This is because the hydrothermal fluids that form these deposits are typically low-temperature fluids that do not penetrate deeply into the Earth's crust. Occurrence in association with other types of hydrothermal deposits Epithermal gold deposits are often found in association with other types of hydrothermal deposits, such as porphyry copper deposits or scarn deposits. This is because these deposits are formed by similar geologic processes, and often occur in the same geologic settings. Vein and stockwork structures Epithermal gold deposits are typically characterized by the presence of veins and stockwork structures. These structures are formed by the deposition of gold-bearing minerals in fractures and faults in the surrounding rock, and are often oriented in a roughly vertical orientation. High-grade and small-scale Epithermal gold deposits are often high-grade and small-scale, meaning that they contain a relatively small amount of gold but are concentrated in a relatively small area. This makes them attractive targets for exploration and development, as they can be relatively easy to mine and process. Low Sulfide Content Epithermal gold deposits are typically low in sulfides, meaning that they do not contain significant amounts of pyrite or other sulfide minerals. This is in contrast to other types of hydrothermal deposits, such as porphyry copper deposits, which are typically high in sulfides. In conclusion, epithermal gold deposits are characterized by their association with volcanic activity, their shallow depth of occurrence, and their occurrence in association with other types of hydrothermal deposits. They are often characterized by vein and stockwork structures, and are typically high-grade and small-scale. They also tend to be low in sulfides, which can make them easier to mine and process. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.